Dividend Growth Investing The U.S. stock market has historically been one of the world's best long-term moneymakers. Since the late 1800s, the market has increased about 9% annually. But like with most things in life, it's easier said than done. According to the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, the typical individual investor has underperformed the market. In reality, during the previous two decades, the average investor earned 2.1% versus 8.2% and 5.3% from equities and bonds, respectively. Despite the market's strong growth, most investors are unable to make gains in the market after accounting for inflation. But there is good news for individuals seeking to generate long-term wealth and financial freedom through the stock market. In this video, I will give you four reasons why dividend growth Investing can help you achieve your financial objectives and become a better long-term investor. Please make sure you watch this video until the end and do not skip any part so that you don't miss out on those four reasons that could potentially change your life. Also, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Investing in dividend growth stocks may give a steady, rising income stream that can fund your needs, goals, and retirement over time if you retain a steady hand and remain disciplined. Dividends are a significant source of long-term market returns. An investor's total return has historically been enhanced by dividends. Most investors alive today have mostly known a stock market in which share price appreciation was the underlying goal. According to the Hartford Funds, dividends accounted for almost 42% of the S&P 500 total return from 1930 to 2017. Clearly, dividends matter. Dividends accounted for almost half of market gains in the 1970s and 2000s. This can occur when stock values stagnate or drop, but dividends continue to flow. This makes obvious sense. If you hold a growth stock, one that doesn't pay a dividend, your only opportunity to profit is via share price increase. And we all know how volatile the market can be. Take Alphabet Google, for example. As the company grows, so does the share price. But if the market crashes right before you need to sell to fund a down payment on a house or your kid's college tuition, as it occurred in the early 2000s tech boom or 2008 to 2009, most, if not all, of those capital gains can vanish quickly. You could lose 5 to 10 years of unrealized profits in a few months, so you got nothing for all your patience and saving. On the other hand, dividend growth stocks provide increasing dividends, which may be reinvested into more shares, producing an exponentially growing income stream over time. In other words, as a dividend growth investing, the dividends you earn are concrete, long-term gains that no crash can remove. And if you reinvest your dividends in quality dividend growth stocks over time, you will be better off, even if the market falls since your rising dividend income stream may be reinvested at lower post-crash prices, locking in a greater yield. Let's now discuss the five reasons. Reason 1. Dividend growth stocks have outperformed the stock market over time. While it may appear contradictory, Companies that regularly pay and raise their dividends beat non-dividend stocks in the long run, adding to the appeal of being a dividend growth investing. From 1972 through 2017, all dividend payers returned 9.25% per year, outperforming the equal-weighted S&P 500 annualized return of 7.7% and the 2.6% annualized return of stocks that did not pay a dividend. Furthermore, the companies that regularly increased their dividends during this period did the best of any group and had the lowest volatility. To be honest, this period has been marked mostly by dropping interest rates since the early 1980s. This might have made dividend-paying stocks more attractive. And from the 1920s until the end of 2014, dividend payers outperformed non-payers significantly. That's because of long-term focused and conservative management. For example, a company like Facebook, which is rapidly growing while earning a very high margin, may appear to be a far better investment than a dull dividend growth stock that may be true for a while. There are undoubtedly many excellent businesses that may generate exceptional wealth for shareholders. One example is Amazon. 
Non-dividend paying stocks focused on growth, on the other hand, may face a variety of unanticipated challenges. Their business models may achieve market saturation sooner than expected, or there may be a significant shift in technology, customer choices, or the competitive environment. A company can still generate streams of profits and cash, but in order to keep earnings climbing, it may need to explore beyond the company's primary business. That type of diversity can be beneficial, but it also offers a significant danger since it can lead to management making bad capital allocation decisions, such as making big flashy acquisitions that it may overpay for and wind up writing down later. Just because a corporation pays a dividend does not make it immune to these risks. However, hundreds of companies have managed to pay constant or rising dividends for more than 20 years, despite recessions, wars, commodity price spikes, technology shifts, dramatic changes in consumer behavior, and other factors. These companies have shown to be stable, growing, and cash-rich over time. After all, if they are paying out 50% of earnings to dividend-focused investors each year, they must be significantly more selective in acquisitions and investments. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, which I put a lot of time and energy into, I would really appreciate it if you guys tap the like button and make sure you subscribe with notification on. And if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll drop a brand new video next week about the same topic. Now, let's get back to the video. Reason 2. Dividend growth stocks can assist you in having a secure retirement no matter how long you live. The most important reason most individuals invest is to secure a comfortable level of life in retirement. Dividend growth stocks can undoubtedly aid in this endeavor. Many people are aware of the 4% drawdown rule, which states that you should sell 4% of your portfolio to live on during retirement. This rule was devised by William Benjamin, who discovered in a 1994 research that a 60% stock and 40% bond portfolio could sustain a 4% withdrawal in perpetuity. To put it another way, if you just hold an S&P 500 index ETF and a wide bond ETF, selling 4% of the portfolio each year would allow portfolio growth to balance yearly asset sales, ensuring that you are unlikely to run out of money during your retirement. However, according to a 2008 analysis, by Jack Gardner, if you exclusively adhere to the S&P 500 100 highest yielding dividend companies, the long-term outperformance of this portfolio would allow you to boost your yearly portfolio withdrawal to 5% and still keep the portfolio in perpetuity. Dividend stocks are especially appealing for retirement since they have shown decreased volatility over time. Of course, when relying on dividend income, there are a number of choices to consider. Reason 3. Accepting dividend growth investing mindset can help you avoid the leading cause of market underperformance. Human emotion is the single greatest enemy to long-term market performance. Most investors, even if they merely invest in low-cost index ETF, like the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, find it incredibly difficult to match the market due to a well-studied psychological phenomenon known as loss aversion. Why is this the case? That's because losing a dollar hurts twice as much as gaining a dollar. This partially explains market booms and crashes. When markets rise, people become exuberant and greedy, buying stocks only after the majority of profits have been earned. In a panic, people panic and end up selling at much cheaper prices. Essentially, human nature makes market timing the greatest risk to reaching your long-term investing goals. Sitting on cash in anticipation of the next market correction is a risky and costly game. For one reason, bull market rewards are sometimes very concentrated. So, how can be a dividend growth investing benefit you? Simply put, you should consider your portfolio to be a company with a long-term focus on maximizing long-term cash flow and value. Just like Nike and Coca-Cola don't try to time the global economy by shutting down their operations during periods of economic, market, and interest rate uncertainty. Your portfolio should do the same. Consider it this way. By focusing on your long-term portfolio income and the rising dividends of your individual companies, you can relax and be continually reminded of what is important in the long run. Cash flow. The time-tested company 
has proven its ability to reward patient dividend growth, investing through numerous business and interest rate cycles. So any correction, bear market, or crash is likely just an opportunity to buy one of the world's best stocks at a lower price and lock in a higher yield on your invested capital. If you're concerned that buying near record highs today would result in a loss, dividend growth investing can provide you with a long-term, value-oriented, contrarian attitude that will deter you from attempting to play the market and put you up for considerably superior long-term returns. Before I present you reason number four, comment down below. I am from AKA, your country. In that way, I will know exactly where you're from. So in the future, I can make sure that every single video I release is meant for you. So drop your country's name in the comments down below and make sure to watch this video until the end. And do not skip any part so that you won't miss out on those important tips. Now, let's get back to the video. Reason four. Being a dividend growth investor can help you earn a return regardless of how the stock market performs. It becomes much simpler to build your wealth and income over time when you adopt a long-term, value-oriented dividend growth attitude. People who can sit peacefully for decades when they own a farm or an apartment house frequently grow restless when they are subjected to a stream of stock quotations and accompanying pundits sending an underlying message of don't simply sit there, do something. For these investors, liquidity has been transformed from the unqualified benefit it should be into a curse. Investing in dividend growth stocks can assist to isolate long-term total returns from market volatility. Instead of worrying about your portfolio's price performance on any given day or year, keep an eye on its dividends. After all, they will account for a significant amount of your returns. Even when the S&P 500 index fell over 50% during the financial crisis, the stocks in our conservative retirees' model dividend portfolio would have provided stable income. A steady supply of dividends might help you ignore short-term stock price fluctuations and focus on what matters most. It is difficult to lose money in the long run as long as a company's core investment thesis stays intact, allowing it to raise its dividends sustainably and safely over time. That is, unless you let your emotions stand in the way of a rising revenue stream by selling for emotional reasons in the near term. <laughs> Lastly, some final thoughts on dividend investing. Building wealth through the stock market is simple in principle. It's just a matter of time until human nature takes control, resulting in tremendous overtrading, high expenses, and awful underperformance. However, investing in dividend growth stocks can help you avoid these errors since these investments can help you perceive your portfolio as actual pieces of excellent businesses rather than a collection of digital symbols and randomly shifting figures on a computer screen. Dividend growth investing may transform you from a short-term trader, speculator, or gambler to a genuine investor whose portfolio reflects an actual share of global corporate earnings. To avoid the pointless and possibly destructive daily market fluctuations that no one actually understands, dividend growth stocks allow you to focus on investing for the long term. That is how ordinary people may participate in the American dream and attain the kinds of income and asset growth that lead to financial freedom. The goal is to get started as soon as possible and to remain disciplined in order to reap the full rewards of being a dividend growth investing. Now, if you want to watch more videos like this, then you need to watch this video right here. This video is one of the best on this channel.